Welcome, Virgo, to currently. How do they feel about you? We're going to find out about your Valentine's Day and see if you got anything upcoming or something that you're currently working on as far as a relationship. So whoever is currently on your mind, we are going to shuffle for that situation alone. Please go ahead, hit subscribe while you're waiting for me to shuffle. I'm going to take one more or two more maybe. So give me a moment here to get this shuffle out and to get these cards going. We're going to find out currently where you are and again, just kind of where they are vibing at as far as between the both of you. Okay, so first off, the situation is an investment, okay? This has been an investment. This is taking a lot of time. There's a lot of patience that is going into this with the Seven of Pentacles. I just feel like with the Seven of Pentacles and that patience comes a lot of courage. So there's a lot of strength here and assessing this and making sure that everything is good to go. And so as far as this relationship is concerned, this is a this is the lovers for the lovers card. This is spiritually connected. So there's a spiritual um, relationship, emotion, choices, partnership, connection that needs to be expressed here. So I do feel like anything influencing this has a lot of success. So I feel like that is in your corner. Again, with that patience and that courage and the focus to actually detail and manage this it takes quite a bit there is cars involved in this and there is also again anything underlining or rooting with the situation or action that goes into this relationship or this connection would be a lot of recognition there's a lot of um a lot of power a lot of energy a lot of connection as far as reflecting and growing so there is a lot of time here um, that has been spent on it, but that has taken a lot of strength to build that. So I feel like the strength here, it, if, if it ever needed to have it within this experience or this connection, it would need to have it now. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with just a pentacle sign. Um, and I just, I feel like, I don't know if that resonates, but there's cars involved in the situation, six or seven. I feel like in the past, there definitely was some sort of an, almost like an over an over obsession or over stressed or overworked about the situation so there definitely was an experience with this person previous to this one so this could be a renewal but this one was super imbalanced in the past and that might have just been feeling exhausted or burnt out in the situation having a lot to do with um some sort of a mistake that was made and just kind of trying to reassess that mistake maybe now in the current situation yeah, one that really kept you up because this was a mistake that probably had nothing to do with you or it had all to do with you, one or the other. I really don't feel like the, I feel like the negativity was coming from a little bit of both places here. So any negativity, worry, sleeplessness, stress, this was all from the past, but somebody was unavailable here. There was a lot of melodrama and it could have been turned off with the availability. So there was something unavailable here, but that all was coming towards an ending and it was kind of like, Maybe I should make a final go at this, and that's kind of where you are currently with this person. So again, this could be air sign, earth sign, could be Gemini in specific. Got cards thrown out of here. This could definitely just be that Taurus. Because this is, the upcoming, you will be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles energy. Now this could be female, male. I do feel like this person doesn't really have to ask to be present. They're very capable of that. They're very much in their grace. And I feel like the potential here will be 100% as long as there's something practical for them to work with. So I just don't think there's no ifs here. I don't think there will be any ifs in the upcoming situation when you bring it to them or when they acknowledge because I don't feel like you guys are talking. The Queen of Swords, that's in reverse. I just feel like any kind of expression or any kind of logical, rational conversation has not been had or it has been had or you haven't reached out. Maybe you have and you were disappointed by the ending because anything upcoming is really going to be explaining why you had this regret. It's going to be explaining why you're wanting forgiveness. So any kind of reach out to this person, you're going to be like, this is what happened and this is what happened and we need to move forward this way. So I feel like you are going to come to this person but you're really trying not to come off as if you're, you know, crying over the small things. You're just, you're very consumed with disappointment, okay? I do feel like that very much is here. So any conflict, distraction, and unfocus would have a lot to do with why in the past you two were not coming together. So I think currently they're open to a conversation. I just don't know if you've brought it to them. Um, but I think anything upcoming is, you do have a fear of them being just so confused that they, they'll come off harsh. 
there's a almost like a harsh there's a worry about this harsh conversation or a harsh conversation yeah so you're definitely holding back normally you're very understanding you have this huge heart very very compassionate person but you're trusting you're very trusting and you for once are like very concerned that maybe this might come off a little abrasive when you come towards this person i think that has a lot to do with you kind of alluding this to your own self so i feel like if you forget about the ego you forget about the things that are really scary or the things that actually matter are the ones that are going to be more difficult so if this feels like it's going to be hard it feels like it's going to be difficult that's probably where you need to walk towards is um the idea of releasing the dependency or this illusion you freeing yourself from what you think might happen and then just walk into what it is that is super supportive here so any kind of feeling safe you will get into that place especially if you are going to let go of that ego and allow yourself to really see true colors okay um, and bottom line, I think you will get into a place, um, not of indecision and not of avoidance. I think you want to make, you know, some sort of a choice here. You want to make something out of this confusion. I don't think that there's anything as far as choices or patterns or, you know, making a final decision. I don't think there's anything bad behind that. I think that this can be created as long as you push forward. So anything current is just this person maybe not being aware of this at all so i mean to get rid of that we would have to forget about what we think they might act like and get into a place where you know we're talking and having a conversation with this person and then they are like you know that's where you're gonna find that truth so that's where we get into that is when we forget about the things we think we know <laughs> yeah it's great advice for my own self so please believe i tell my shit i tell myself this shit every day every day quit being so scared out there all right, please go ahead and hit subscribe if you would, please, and thank you. Go ahead and hit that bell so you don't miss a thing here at Hangman Tarot. Again, my name is Jordan. I am Hangman Tarot, and I hope that you have a beautiful month. See you later.